And now the moment you've all been waiting for. You've dreamed of this. You've waited almost your lifetime. I am going to unveil for you the secret of the tube. Da -da -da -da. So, as you know, as a clarinetist, you have two tubes in the instrument that go inside the bore. They're metal going up into the bore. These are important because the rest of the instrument, from an acoustical point of view, is made of wood. So the first one is the register tube. The second one is a thumb tube. To show you what they do from the inside, I took an existing commercial clarinet. This was when I was having a particularly bad day, and I think I was upset that my tuna fish sandwich was not the way I wanted it prepared, which was really a problem because I made it. And I simply ran a clarinet through a bandsaw. This was therapeutic. But the net result is to see there are two tubes inside the instrument. One of them is bigger, that's the thumb tube. The other one is smaller, and that's the register tube. These two tubes will have an amazing and dramatic effect on your life as a clarinetist or your success as a clarinet technician. So one of the first things you'll see on this particular instrument, the tube is the shape of a horseshoe. You'll notice on the ones that we typically use on Bakun, it's flat. So no matter where this is in position, it doesn't make a difference. But in the case of the horseshoe, if it's not straight, you get all kinds of different challenges. So I'm just going to show you with a special tool, if I move this, you can see it's now straight or it's not straight. So my suggestion, you want to make sure it's straight. It's very easy to use an expander, pull the tube out, mark it for the position exactly where you want it to be, and then put the tube back in. And the way you would do that is you would simply use a fantastically expensive, very difficult to find tool, D Sharpie, to pick the place where if there was a horseshoe, you would put a little line here and then you'll know exactly where to put it in to line up with the 12 o'clock position. You can see on this clarinet, we've simply milled out slots to be able to see inside geometric features, that on this one it's flat. So if this was now drilled out and it was the angled one, you'd want to make sure it was straight. Typical register tubes are made of either nickel silver, which is a white brass, or of brass. And there's some discussion which material sounds better. In my experience, they're kind of similar. Um, recently, we had experimented with a special solid sterling silver, which has been heat hardened in a very particular way and machined. And the results with these have been just tremendous. It's really quite astonishing. The difference in the sound, particularly through the throat tones in the upper register with the register tube and the F to G relationship on the thumb tube in how differently the instrument responds, the feeling of control and sound. So if you haven't tried this very new development, you owe it to yourself to try it. The difference from all of the pros I've been working with who have been testing them has been nothing short of just wild enthusiasm. I think it's actually one of the bigger developments in clarinet sound in quite some time. So give them a try, I think you'll like them.